Hello there and welcome back and uh, what we're going to do today is talk about uh, I'm going to finish up some of these uh, um, wind mechanisms or kind of environment type things. So the, what we were looking at before was this way of the tree and then the grass below. What we're going to look at today is these hangers that are that used to be just part of the image for the, uh, the house. I've removed those and just left basically the the hook as part of the uh, part of the original image. We've created uh, removed that and created a single image. Uh, it's static, uh, but it reacts to the wind as it goes along, and we'll talk about how how that works. The last one is similar to before with the other grass, but in this case, what we done here is combine uh, the sway mechanism, added some variety as far as size, and we'll, we'll get to that one as well. So the plant, uh, what we did originally was go back and look at, um, remove the original plant, the object, and just made it a, a single image with the, the location on the top, created the, put the origin at the top so we can swing based on where it's located in, in the, uh, the game. We have the, the create event, um, and this is going to set up some of our just an initial variables. One is the how long we're going to swing, uh, how far in, uh, we're going to start off swinging in one direction, uh, the size of the, the swing, and what this is is an indicator so on the back swing, we want to reduce it. So this swing size will be reduced by a, a variable as as we go along. That way, it's it's uh, intense on the first outswing and then decreases as as we go both directions. And there's the the swing whether we're swinging or not. Um, swing step to figure out what where we're, we're at. Um, the swing size of the step starting angle. And then the step angle will be how long, how much we're going to change between uh, to get those 180 degrees, which will give us from zero to, to negative one to zero. So we need to figure out how how large that angle is. So in the step event, what we're going to do is if we're swinging, and that'll be triggered by by the wind. So let's go ahead and look at that. Uh, in the wind, where if we're not already swinging, we're going to tell ourselves we're going to swing. We'll start our initial variables. One's the intensity, and the other two are the the size of the steps. We're going to then, if we are swinging, we're going to go ahead and move the angle based on the step angle, which is that how far for the 180 degrees, and, and we're going to do that for both of these. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is for this size step. What we're going to do is um, we're trying to keep track of when we've gotten exactly 180. So that way uh, on the outswing, we, we know when we've come back and then we can reset it and know when we're doing that finish the full back swing to come back to center. So that's right why we have this. Uh, we're doing it, keeping track of, track of it two locations. Uh, and then the swing size, we're going to reduce reduce the backswing by half. Um, previously it was, it gets initialized at one. We then bring up, uh, reduce it by half and then we set our variables. And then the swing size, if we, we've gone down and shrunk to where we're almost not, not moving, we're just going to tell it to stop moving. And then the image angle is just uh, based on these calculations, which is the swing angle that we're at, um, the intensity, and then the swing size, which is intensity was the original angle, maximum angle, uh, the swing size is where we're at. And there's no overriding of the of the draw event. So this is just a, a simple draw event. And this this uh, object, the way it's written, uh, sh should have no modifications required for uh, Game Maker Studio 2, so we're not going to go ahead into that. But this is where we go, go in here and see how it it goes off to one side and then comes back and it kind of wobbles back and forth. 
And what it's doing as it goes back and forth is going to reduce its swing uh, to where it's almost nothing. And that's really just to get more of a, a feel of um, something within there. And you could do something like that with like a, a sign that might be in, in the world that, that goes swings back and forth. Um, it just gives you a little bit more flexibility of what you can do. Now down here, these are coded very similar to the trees, um, but instead of stopping uh, at 180 degrees, we're actually just have these constantly uh, swaying back and forth. And then the, the only thing is we're going to increase the intensity of, of the swing when the wind, wind occurs. So we set the depth, just to make sure it's in the correct location in the world. Um, these are variables similar to what we had before. This, uh, the speed, because we're only going to, uh, right now, just show the one image. The X scale will be random size um, in both directions. And then just the different sway, sway variables as we go. So as we, we get hit by the wind, we're going to increase the intensity, which is how far it, it, it sways, and then how fast it sways. And then after a little bit, we're going to stop how long, after a couple seconds, we're going to stop how long, it, how long it's swaying. So we go back to the alarm and show that, that we're going to go ahead and stop it. Um, in the step event, uh, we're, we're just drawing it like we were before, making the calculations of this way. And then we're going to... Uh, Keep this. This will just keep us so the variable doesn't overflow at some point in time. If you just kept the the game running for days, it may eventually overrun. It would be a long time. So this is you're going to stop the sway, uh, reduce the sway as we're going to stop it. Um, this is just to reduce the variables and try to set them back to normal. Um, but here's the calculations that we were doing. The draw event is like we did before for the, the tree. Um, since we're doing all the calculations in the step event, and then we're just doing a regular draw. So that's uh, how we do the clump. Um, and I'll, we'll show you the effect there in a second. So down here, you can see uh, as the wind goes, it increases the how far they it moves and and it reduces over time, um, so that's really just different ways of introducing wind and different effects. Uh, this lower one didn't require any uh, special coding for uh, X sprites. It's just uh, drawn, uh, and then just ma we're manipulating the the image. So until next time, uh, good luck coding.